Well, here we are. We've arrived in Salu. Final stage of Q School. Weather's beautiful again. Um, I am playing nine holes with good old Mr. Havre, Greg Havre. Uh, good lad. Really looking forward to playing with him. I'm just going to go and do about 50 minutes of capto work on the putting green and then warm up and go and play nine holes. But it's really nice to be here. I'm really looking forward to the week and just see what happens, you know. I'm, I'm here obviously to get my card back, but I want to test myself. I want to see where I've come from, from four years ago from calling it a day and see how much I've progressed mentally and physically. So I'm looking forward to the challenge ahead and I hope you enjoy the videos over the next few days. Right, second practice day. We're playing the Hills course today. I'm playing with David Haig, whose granddad taught me when I was 10 years old. Good player, Dave. And I'm playing with uh, Boydie as well. Good lads, so. But I've just figured something out. So I stand over the ball quite a long time um, and it makes me try and find positions. So I'm trying to be a bit more instinctive. I remember hearing Butts Cop could do a podcast on it about golf being an instinctive sport, so less time over the ball and it's, it's made, a, well, it made a massive difference on the range so I'm going to try and take it for uh, these 18 holes but yeah another gorgeous day looking forward to it. Good morning from final stage so this last day of prep before it starts tomorrow uh, it's been really good two really demanding days really demanding obviously we traveled on tuesday up at half three got down here played the front nine on the lakes and then we played yesterday played the hills course i played with gary boyd and david haig it took like over five hours to play a practice round so again quite demanding been out there for that long so we're just walking the back nine i didn't get a chance to play it but the things for me that are flagging up are short game the rough's very different. It's a lot thicker down here, so it's not coming out the same. And the greens are really fast. So, a lot of short game today, a lot of pace putting, and a lot of green reading. Uh, played nice yesterday, hit a lot of fairways, a lot of greens. <clears throat> but I think today is, I've learned over the years that sometimes less is more, and today's definitely one of those days. Like I say, first two days have been very tough. So today's consolidating on that and just taking it a bit easier. So a few fun tests on the range, but a lot of short game today. Uh, but we'll put some videos up and I'll talk to you at the end of the day before the tournament gets going. Right, that's it, done and dusted for the day. A really productive day. Um, just did a lot of long iron testing, I needed it. Um, anyway, that was really good and then a lot of short game, bunker play. And then we went back up to the lakes, uh, sorry, back up to the hills course, because the lakes putting green is a bit slower than the greens. So we went up to the hills and just did an hour's worth of pace putting there. And then we've just come back and finished off with three uh, long iron trapman tests. So we're done, uh, starts tomorrow, uh, 11 minutes past nine tee off. So really looking forward to getting going. Right, here we go, first day. You can see the sun's just coming up. It's about 10 past seven. Not teeing off till 10 past nine, so it gives me a chance to have a little coffee, wake up a little bit, and then I'm doing my focus band for 30 minutes. Just a bit of mindfulness, a bit on the range, a bit on the short game, bunker play, and then just get the pace again and tee off at 11 minutes past nine. So looking forward to see what today brings. You know, expectations aren't massively high, so that's good. At least my acceptance will be very high. Just got to go and try and enjoy it. You know, I've not played, I've played literally three or four competitive rounds all year. So no pressure, just go and try and enjoy it and uh, see what we can do. So I'll be back on a video after my round. 
That's it, first round done and dusted. Really happy, shot five under. Um, five birdies, 13 pars. Just really happy with how I played. Just kind of kept it in play. I started on 10, so first seven or eight holes, there was not much wind and just played nice. Just kept it in play, gave myself chances, converted a couple. And then the front nine was really tough. Played really windy, so it was like a two club wind. But again, knocked it close on two. And then it was nice to finish birdie birdie at a lovely seven iron into eight to about a foot and then hold about an eight foot for birdie at the last. So good first day. So all that work I did on my pace putting yesterday worked a treat. My pace, distance control, my putting was brilliant today. So I've just come back up to the hills course and I'm going to do exactly the same. Just like 40, 50 minutes worth of pace putting and then go back down to the lakes and just do a bit more long iron play because again my long iron play was really good today two parts of the game three parts of the game including my pitching that I've, i know i've had to work hard at but it's paying dividends so i'm going to do exactly the same and then grab an early night and get ready for my round around the links uh, around the hills tomorrow i'm teeing off at 10 past 10 past 10 so looking forward to another another day another challenge Right, here we go, day two. As you can see, it's a bit overcast. Wind's gonna be pretty similar to yesterday, 13, 14 mile an hour. Um, so we're up at the hills today, but we've had to come to the lakes because you're not allowed to hit woods up on the hills driving range. So we're a bit early, but I'm just gonna have a nice little warm up down at the lakes and then head up there. Uh, like I say, same as yesterday, I'm gonna do a little bit of warming up with uh, long irons and then just do a lot of pace putting in short game, you know, it, really, it worked yesterday so, you know, keeping it simple and not changing too much, so let's get to it. Well, that was a bit of a trickier day out there today, didn't quite have my A game, but still played nice, just got, felt like I got done over a couple of times, hit some good shots and they ended up in poor places. Um, but it's nice to birdie the last to shoot level. I don't think I deserve to shoot over par. But like I say, it was tricky. First three holes were really tough. Two over through three, so would I take a level with that start? Probably, yeah. Um, so I've just been on the range, done a bit of bit of balance work. Me and my old coach, Pete Cowan, used to do feet together. Just gets my upper and lower body working really well. And then just did a bit more pace work and had a look at Capto on my putting and everything's fine. I just lost the pace a bit on the back nine, but nice to roll in a little 20 foot at the last for birdie. Um, so yeah, we're five under going into, what day are we on tomorrow? Uh, Sunday tomorrow, so back to the lakes. Looking forward to it, it's a proper golf course. So looking forward to getting going nice and early again tomorrow. Good morning, right, day three, another gorgeous day. Um, so, learned a few things from yesterday. Just been down the lakes, done a bit of um, long iron play, bit of driver work, bit of pitching, and now we're just up on the putting green, top putting green, gonna do a little bit of pace putting. Uh, pace was still pretty good yesterday, but you know, today's another day, so I've gotta stay on top of it. Anyway, I'll let you know how we get on. Well, that was a really frustrating day, got to be honest. Um, hit a lot of really good shots, just made some really silly mental errors. Um, I could tell I've not played, you know, some of the mental errors I'm making, I can tell I've not played competitively for a while. Um, yeah, that's all I can put it down to. A couple of bad swings from the mental errors that cost me. I made a lot of birdies, but I made a lot of mistakes as well. Um, so I'm feeling quite tired, a bit deflated, mentally draining as well. Concentration, like I say, I've not had to do that for four years. So I've called it a day for today. The golf is finished. We walked off 18 and literally have just come back to the apartment. So just going to reflect on today. Um, like I say, there was a lot of good golf. Made a lot of birdies. Richie's really positive. It's quite a tricky course, that hills. It can catch you out without you doing much wrong. And it did me a couple of times over the last two days. So let's see what tomorrow brings. We're back on the lakes tomorrow, proper golf course. 
Um, weather's going to be lovely as well, teeing off at about 11 o'clock. So let's see if we can keep those birdies on the card and keep the bogeys off it. Right, day four and we're away. Uh, done my warm up, did a bit of pitching, which was good. And then just a lot of feet together, getting the synchronization between upper and lower. Just only a warm up. So body's warm, just gonna hit a few drivers, do a bit of pace putting, and then we're ready to go. Day four, bring it on. So it's the day after my final round. That was yesterday. Uh, really disappointing way to finish, gotta be honest. Um, was playing lovely, eight holes, hit every fairway, every green, and then I just blocked a drive on nine from nowhere and hit the cart path and went OB and it just absolutely knocked my momentum. And I didn't play very good on the back nine, you know, a couple of poor drive on 11 as well, made double there. So really disappointing way to finish, gotta be honest. Um, my main goal was to make the cut, obviously it was to finish top 25 throughout the week, but main goal was to make the cut and I should have done really. I think lack of playing uh, maybe contributed to that as well. Uh, some silly errors, really silly errors, but there was a lot of good in there as well. Got the competitive juices flowing again and I really enjoyed it. It's great to see some of the lads, surprised to see some lads there as well. Um, but yeah, all in all it was a fantastic experience. So just thank the people who made it possible, Peter Jones, um, Ignis Management, you know, DP uh, Tour for letting me play again, uh, Tommy Baker, Caddying, just everybody who helped me get back on track and play a little bit more. So I don't think it'll be the last time I play. I really enjoyed it. And like I said, it got the competitive juices flowing again. So the sticks will be back out in 2023. Just got to make a few adjustments. Uh, mentally, I was very good this week. I've worked hard on it, so I will be continuing that over the Christmas period, ready for January. My first tournament back will probably be in Turkey. Uh, so, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a nice little insight into Q School. And uh, I look forward to doing more videos like this.